I was really excited when I was asked to test drive an electric car. But I live in a rural area and I wasn't sure if it was going to be possible because I know most electric cars have got a range of about 100, 109 miles. And I was thinking, am I going to be able to go about my daily business with that? Some people talk about range anxiety, i.e. you know, how far you can drive before you run out of electricity. And in reality, that's not really been the case. I think the thing about driving an electric car is you, you do need to plan things, but to be honest, living in a rural area, I always need to plan whether I've got enough diesel to put in my big old gas guzzling vehicle anyway. At the moment, there isn't actually a definitive guide to charging points across the UK. Um, there are a couple that I've found that are particularly strong. And I guess as the infrastructure gets better, there will be companies creating apps that have got absolutely every charging point. Uh, and I think that's going to put a lot of people's mind at rest. For most of my daily life in an electric car, I really don't need to know whether there are any other charging points because I just charge it at home in, in the garage with a three-point socket. I think one drawback could be that if you're parking on the street, in other words, if you don't have a garage or off-road parking, then it could be a bit of a problem for you. I thought that maybe an electric car might feel a bit tinny and a bit small and I might feel a little bit unsafe in it, just like it was really made, I suppose, for small city journeys. But that's really not the case. This is a big, strong vehicle, but it also can be very nippy when it needs to be. It's, it's basically just comparable with other five-door hatches on the market. The really amazing thing is there's no road tax. If, if you're living in a big city, there's no congestion charge. If you're driving the average of 10,000 miles a year, it would only cost you about £150 a year in electricity. People who are generating their own electricity, you could in effect be running your vehicle for nothing. So I've just come into Cheltenham for a client meeting and the great thing is that this particular hotel has a fast charging point. So I've been able to just plug my car in, actually next to the hotel's car. The great thing about this charger, it's a fast charger, you can go from no charge to full charge within two hours. When I first drove it, initially the silence can seem a little bit unnerving but you soon get used to it. Friends of mine who are cyclists had expressed a concern about the fact that they can't hear the vehicle coming up behind you. You're more sort of aware of other people. At the moment, the cost is quite prohibitive for a five-door hatchback, but I believe that that's the sort of thing that will change very, very soon. When I want to go on a family weekend away, I'd have to plan a little bit more about where we'd go and where we'd charge en route. So when there's an electric car that has a range of about 300 miles, well, frankly, I don't see why we wouldn't all have them. It, to me, it's just, it's just a no-brainer.